It is not necessary to try and get rid of fear in order to succeed. And that is the quote of the day. Welcome back to the Quote of the Day show. I'm your host, Sean Croxon of SeanCroxon.com. Thanks for tuning in to our Thursday episode. And our guest speaker today is none other than T. Harv Ecker. He is the author of the book that I have very likely recommended the most over the last five or six years. It's called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. And as you know, I used to have a very poor mindset when it came to money and finances. I would set financial goals and just end up sabotaging myself over and over and over again until I stumbled upon the work of Dr. Martini and I stumbled upon Harv's book, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. And what his book allowed me to do is to identify where those limiting beliefs around money came from. And it just makes such a profound difference when you figure that out and you're able to unravel them and create a brand new mindset around your income and your finances. And and in this particular clip, Harv doesn't really talk about money mindset. He talks mostly about fear. And I do about mm, 10 hours of coaching with online entrepreneurs throughout the week. And it's something that comes up quite frequently, just that that fear of putting themselves out there, the fear of shooting the first video, the fear of doing the first podcast interview. And what I always tell people is that you can't expect the fear to ever go away because it doesn't. The fear is just something that you have to learn to dance with. I'll tell you, just to be totally honest, every single time I record one of these intros and outros for the podcast, I feel a little bit of fear. Every time I do an interview, I feel a little bit of fear. Every time I get in front of the camera, I feel a little fear. Every single time I send out an email, I feel some fear. And I never expect it to go away. Like I said, I just learned to dance with it because I know that the only way to get anything accomplished, the only way to get uncomfortable so we can be successful and so we can grow is to walk up to our fears. And so Harv talks about that. I hope you enjoy this. Here's Harv. How do you agree that fear and doubt and worry are basically the biggest obstacles to both success and happiness? So since fear is such a big obstacle in our lives, it's imperative that we understand it. All right, well, let's talk about fear. The definition of fear is, the definition of fear is, read it nice and loud. Anticipation of what? Pain. When is anticipation? Past, present, or future? Future. Is future real or is it imagined? It's imagined. It's not real. Let's do an experiment to test this out. Are you ready to play? Will you play 100%? Great. Raise your hand tomorrow. (laughs) Let's try this again. Please raise your hand tomorrow. What's the problem? That's right. The problem is tomorrow does not exist. Tomorrow does not exist in reality. It only exists in your head, in your imagination. Yes or yes? Same with fear. It only exists in your mind. The proof of that is I say, I invite two people up here to come and address you. And one person can do a speech. And one person goes, I'm so excited. I've always wanted to talk to a large group of people. This would be great. I'm so excited. This is so great. And the other person is petrified. What's the problem? Where's the fear? Where's the problem? Is the problem in the audience? Where's the problem? Where's the fear? It's in that person's head. It wasn't in the first person's head. So... Your mind has a very specific job, and its job is sur- survival. What is it? Survival. Excellent. Survival. And therefore, its primary role in life is protection. Protection. So, your mind is like the sentry, the sentry on a ship. Who can tell you what's the sentry's job? Yes, to be the lookout, to warn of danger. And that's why your mind is constantly scanning and watching for what's wrong and what could go wrong in any situation. Why do we always look for what's wrong? Because it's out of protection. Finding what's right doesn't really help in protection, does it? It helps you grow, but it doesn't help protective-wise. Your mind is not your best friend when it comes to growth and expansion and happiness and success. I'm sorry. In fact, it could be your worst enemy. Because it has a job to do and it does it really well. And that is simply to protect you. What's wrong? What's wrong? What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Oh, I'm going to sign up. No, no, don't sign up. Because uh, I don't know about this. Uh, this is a problem. That problem. This is a problem. Problem, 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 It doesn't look for what's right. It doesn't look for how I'm going to make it. 
No, no, I'm going to create it. No, 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 problem, problem, problem. It wants to do a good job, and it wants to feel important, so it's always screaming, look out, be careful, trouble over here, trouble over there. Meanwhile, everything is just fine. You can compare your mind to an over-worried mother, mama, over-worried mother. It has wonderful intentions, but it will drive you crazy if you keep listening to it. Now, who can tell me the mind's favorite phrase? What if? What if? What if this happens? What if that happens? Notice, what if is when? Past, present, or future? Future, meaning it's just imagination. Your mind is the greatest soap opera script writer in history. It makes up incredible stories, usually based in dramas and disasters of things that never happen and things that never will. Mark Twain said it best. He said, I've had thousands and thousands of problems in my life, most of which never actually happened. Therefore, the secret to freedom is to realize that you don't have to believe your own mind. You don't have to believe your own voice in here, your own chatter, your own thinking. If it's not supporting, you can simply look at it and say, thank you for sharing and do what you need to do. Do what you need to do. That's the warrior's way. You got to do what you need to do. And it doesn't matter what your mind's saying. This is something that's very unusual. I want you to notice something. So my mind is saying, don't stand up. Don't stand up. Something bad could happen. Don't stand up. It keeps on saying what? Don't stand up. Now, I want you to watch something. I'll pretend my mind's saying that. Here we go. Don't stand up. 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 Did you notice something? My legs are not connected to that voice. That voice can yell all at once. And my legs can still stand up. Wow, what a concept. You don't have to do what your mind tells you. And you don't have to not do what your mind tells you not to do. You do what is best for you, what empowers you, what grows you, what is needed at the time to get your job done, regardless of anything else. Do you follow? You believe your mind. You believe your thinking. You believe this is the voice of God. It's not the voice of God. It's the voice of very old, protective, baby-like conditioning. And you bought it. And you're listening to it. And you keep on listening to it. It's chattering. Looking, oh, it's wrong. Oh, my God. You're on the ship. And it's like, instead of being driven by the captain, you're listening to the sentry. Look out. Look out. Look out. Be careful. Oh, my God. Raise your hand if your life actually sounds like that a little bit. Most people. Now, one of the biggest mistakes most people make is waiting for the feeling of fear to subside and go away before they act. And these people usually wait forever. We teach an incredibly powerful program called the Enlightened Warrior Training Camp. And there's a saying there that the true warrior can tame the cobra of fear. What's the key word, please? Tame the cobra. It doesn't say kill the cobra. It doesn't say run away from the cobra. It doesn't say get rid of the cobra. It says what? Tame the cobra of fear. Now, let me say this right now. It is not necessary to try and get rid of fear in order to succeed. No, you don't have to get rid of fear. You don't have to get rid of it at all. You do this. Nice and loud. Let me hear you. Act in spite of fear. Act in spite of fear. Susan Jeffers wrote a wonderful book entitled, Feel the Fear and Do It. Why? Anyways, let me say this right now. Listen closely. Successful people have fear. Successful people have doubts. Successful people have worries. They just don't let those feelings stop them. Unsuccessful people have exactly the same feelings, but they let those feelings what? Stop them. And that's the only difference. So how do you develop? What's the word? Develop the trait of action in spite of fear. There's a word. What is it? You practice. Because you can talk about it all day long. But it don't matter what you say. It matter what you do. You practice. You practice taking action regardless of any obstacles that are in your way. 
period. It's a training. It's a conditioning process for yourself. We have a little saying that's been inspired by Nike. Would you like to hear it? Would you like to hear the whole saying instead of just the little end of it? Yes? Do not resist chances. Take them like vitamins. Let go of the breaks. Don't worry about the bumps and the bruises. You can take them. Don't steer around what scares you. Go over, go under, or go through. Do something others would be terrified of. You will feel your chin rise up from your chest, and there'll be one less thing you cannot do. Just do it. Give somebody a high five and say, You a millionaire mind. All right, friends, that was T. Harv Ecker, and that came from his audio program, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind in Turbulent Times, which is available for instant MP3 download over at nightingale.com, as well as audible.com. So check that one out and stay tuned. We've got Fan Friday for you tomorrow. Hope you tune in. I will see you then. Peace.